What's going on guys? My name is Christopher and welcome to It's Complicated, the show where I talk about and showcase wristwatches. So if you love watches like I do, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button, then click on the bell and you'll be all set. Today we're going to be discussing a break-in at a local Rolex authorized dealer here in Pittsburgh. Here we go. So, this past week, I believe it was three something in the morning on the 15th, one of my local Rolex ADs was broken into. Now, this place sells other watch brands like Omega, Nomos, Tudor, Longings, just to name a few. And of course, they sell other jewelry as well. It's a great place, nice employees, very helpful there. Sometimes I go in just to see what kind of Rolexes they have in stock. And of course, I like to check out their pre-owned selection. Anyway. Now, of course, Henny Jewelers has security cameras, and of course, they got this guy on film. Check it out. Yes. You saw that correctly. He didn't get a single piece of jewelry, not a single watch, not an earring. He just broke the glass down, walked in the store, looked around and bailed. And it's pretty obvious as to why he didn't get away with anything as well. You can even tell in the surveillance footage that there's nothing out. Everything is put away at night in the vault. That's how it works. I have a friend who's an independent jeweler and at night he takes all of his jewelry out of the cases and puts it in the vault. That's just what you do. Now hang tight because I have a couple other observations to make here. You see where he looks to the right and then looks to the left? That is exactly where the Rolexes are kept. It's entirely possible that that was this guy's main objective is to get as many Rolexes as possible. Of course, he got zero. Now I have some other questions for this fella and we're gonna get to that in a minute, but can we just take a minute to appreciate that it looks like right here he swears after he notices not only there are no Rolexes, there's nothing in there for him to take, period. He's clearly upset saying some kind of swear word and then just bailing, and that really cracks me up. So here's a question for the guy. Can you read? Here's a short news clip where the owner of Henny Jewelers even mentions that maybe this guy can't read. As far as why the burglar still broke in, despite the sign out front stating the obvious, Maybe he can't read, but the sign says there is absolutely nothing. It's all locked in our vault. Nice one, John. Now, as they mentioned, there is a sign on the door that says nothing is stored in there after business hours, but also all of the lights are on in the display cases, clearly showing everything is empty. If you were going to pull something like this, wouldn't you at least think to drive by the place, have a look, or maybe even just walk by the place, look inside and see if anything is even left out before taking a crowbar to a glass door? Not this guy. And lastly, if your big plan is to rob a jewelry store and you are planning on running away, wouldn't you think you'd at least wear pants that fit? Just watch this guy. He's got to pull his pants up once he gets inside the store, and then he's got to pull his pants back up before he's even out of the store. This guy might just be the biggest moron in Pittsburgh. Now, the police haven't caught this fella yet, but I know John Henney is offering a reward for his capture. So if you're in the Pittsburgh area and you have any information about this fella, well, you know what to do. And that wraps up another episode of It's Complicated. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, like this video, share it with all your friends, and I'll see you next time on another episode of It's Complicated.